Hey everybody, it's me, Erin Elise. Welcome to this episode of Erin's Eats. Today, we're hopping on the frugal train. You can't eat steak and lobster and fancy things every day. Sometimes you gotta just eat your basic meat and potatoes. So that's what we're gonna make. This is another recipe derived out of the Great Depression era when people had to use what they had on hand and make it feed a lot of people. I'm, you know, doing my best to save up. I really wanna go home to Georgia in like a month or so to visit people. So I'm like, hey, what's the cost effective meal that's still tasty? meat and potatoes and you know what i've said it before simple's always better fire alarm is now going off somewhere in our complex because that happens all the time and the neighbor dogs are barking oh my god okay let's get started by grabbing an apron everyone i'm ready for my meat and taters I'm hungry Doop, doop, doop. So I already cut up the potatoes and a little bit of onion I'm gonna be using. And my apartment is super fragrant due to the onion. Just thought I'd say that. All right, the basis of this recipe is what I said. It's meat and potatoes. If you have other stuff on hand that you wanna add into this, go for it. This is incredibly customizable. I had some onion left over, yellow onion, so I diced that up. Uh, I also had a can of corn. Adam loves corn and everything. I mean, it's pretty tasty, so. The first thing you wanna do, though, is brown your potatoes in a little bit of vegetable oil. You wanna dice them up pretty small. You need about two cups of diced potatoes. You can see that, ta-da. So that's what we're gonna start with first. We're gonna heat up our oil and cook our potatoes for about 10 minutes until they are softened or cooked and a little bit browned. So let's brown our potatoes. I'm hungry, so that's why I'm so excited. Look, Mickey Mouse. The first thing we're gonna do is cut on our heat to about medium high and add two tablespoons of vegetable oil to our skillet and remove any hairs. Once your oil has heated up a little bit, that's when you wanna add in your potatoes. Here they go. We're gonna be cooking the potatoes for about uh, 10 minutes. So just keep stirring, maybe bounce, bounce a little until they are a little browned. So our potatoes have been cooking for about 10 minutes, which means now it's time to add in our ground beef and for me, my diced onion. If you don't already, you should be checking the Markdown meat section at your local grocery store. I found like the organic, low fat content ground beef for $2.99. That's less than like the normal cheap stuff like the regular non-organic ground beef is like five bucks something like that this was normal like seven or something dollars so check your markdown meat section it is important for this recipe to use a leaner ground beef because you don't really want to have to drain it also if you are going to use onions i do think when you're cooking the beef is the best time to add it i think if i had cooked the onions with the potatoes they would end up getting burned now we're going to add our ground beef and our, our onion to the potatoes it's important to cook it all together for the flavor right so you want your potatoes to get some of the beefy onion flavor so we're going to do that and I'm also gonna add a little bit of seasoning to it as well, but I'll show you. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's do it. So as you can see, my little potatoes have got the little goldeny brown. I'm gonna add in a little bit of whoop, diced onion, ground beef once I figure out how to open it. Now 
Now obviously you want to keep stirring and breaking up your meat till it's in like small pieces. But at this point while it's still cooking, you want to add in a pretty good amount of pepper or you know however much you like. I'm going to add in my ground pepper and you can use regular salt or seasoned salt. I have seasoned salt. I like the taste of seasoned salt. So I'm going to add uh, probably about a teaspoon. Just sprinkle it over everything. Boom. Keep stirring. Also, try not to mush up your potatoes. Now I know, <laughs> Noodle, I know this is not the most appetizing looking thing, but I swear to you, it smells amazing. All that's left to do now is add in our corn. If you want to, you don't have to. Give it a stir. Let it simmer for just a couple more minutes and then you're pretty much done and we get to eat it. I'm gonna check back with you in just a second and we're gonna see how it actually tastes. So we have finished assembling our meat and taters, our cowboy skillet, if you will. I don't know why it made me think of cowboys, like if they're sitting out on the long range, that's what they'd eat. No? Just me? Okay. So it's time to taste. Don't be mad, but my taste tester isn't home right now. I know. I miss him very much too. Adam is still away at rehearsal. His show opens like tomorrow, so he can't be here to taste this, but I'll taste it and I'll let you know what I think of it. If you follow me on Snapchat, check with us. Um, Sunday, probably when this video is posted actually, just check on Snapchat this Sunday, the, what is it, the 13th, 12th or 13th of August. I'll show Adam tasting it um, and he'll give you his opinion as he always does. So big shout out to my lobster. I'm super proud of you. I miss you and break legs, handsome man. It's me. Let's taste it. I fixed this nice little plate. Look at that. Meat taters, a little roll. All that's missing is something green. I know mama would probably say, I need something green on this plate of brown, but I don't have anything green right now. It smells good. I'm not sure how like fantastic it'll be, but it smells good. That's good. It's actually really full of flavor, surprisingly. Ooh, I spit on my arm. I'm not gonna lie. I did drain off a little bit of the grease because it did produce more grease than what I have assumed it would. And it's still pretty rich. I mean, this is like a hearty meal. I think I would prefer to have this in the winter time, like on a cold day to come home to just your basic hearty meal with a, a roll or a piece of toast, you know, to eat with it. I also might add a little bit of ketchup to it because I like ketchup and I think ketchup would make that really good. I think overall, this is a recipe I will add to my rotation. It's good, it's hearty, it's cheap. It's just, I'm really hot now from standing over the skillet. I mean, at least I didn't have to turn on the oven and heat up the apartment, but still. Thanks for always for tuning in to this episode of Erin's Eats. If you have any suggestions for next weekend's recipe, put that down in the underpants below. I'm thinking maybe something sweet next time. Again, check out my Snapchat, Erin Elise, 1130, a little while after we post this. If you want to see Adam actually tasting it. He's so cute, I just watch him, you know. We'll see you next weekend with another recipe. Bye!